Hello and welcome to yet another interesting session. Interview question, where do you see yourself in next five years? Often a challenging and tricky question. If you are interested to know about the answer of it, how to approach it logically, then let's try and understand. Where do you see yourself in five years is a question about your future plans or goals that you may be asked in an interview. Employers typically ask this type of question to gather insight into how well this job fits with your overall career aspirations. So it's not about doing a job, it is beyond, it is to do with your career and hence it is to be a well thought of answer. You may or may not have an exact picture of where you want to be in five years, either way there are few guidelines you can follow to help yourself answering this particular question as to where you see yourself in the next five years. Well, uh, in a way, this communicates that your enthusiasm for the job should impress your interviewer. So let's see how this can be answered. So what are the employers looking for in your answer is? When employers ask where do you see yourself in the next five years, they are likely looking for a few key pieces of information. For example, do your expectations align with what the employer can provide? Employers want to know that your goals fit the job they are offering. For example, if you are interviewing for an accounting associate role and eventually see yourself leading more complex accounting projects, that shows the interviewer you see yourself growing in this position in a way they can reasonably support you and your ideas. Alternatively, if you are interviewing for a marketing role and you want to be a user designer, work in a digital platform in next five years, you must likely won't be considered a good fit for the job. So your immediate goal has to meet up with the long term plans that you have set for yourself. You are just want a job that will be clearly visible and if you aspire to be something else and that is caught in and exposed in your answer would certainly go otherwise. That's the reason many a time you are asked this particular question just to know whether you are here to take an experience and then move on to your own dream thing, maybe starting up your own entrepreneurship. If that is the idea, even then you need to be very clear with what you want and at least give an ideation in case if you want to be an entrepreneur or start, have your own startup, let's time it and keep a window of not less than 10 years. That is a good enough time for you to learn and do something independently. Employers may also use this question to assess whether you will be satisfied and engaged in the role over the next few years. If you want to reach a more advanced job title in five years, then the employer can accommodate. They may determine that you are overqualified or would too quickly become bored in the position you are interviewing for. So let's say uh, if you are overqualified and you have set yourself a plan of taking two promotions within five years, then it has to fall in place. You need to answer your question in such a way that there is a concrete thing happening year after year so that you can you know, distinctly and discreetly identify and separate your one year from the second and second from the third and so on and so forth so that your five years have a five different years of experience where you are planning to have at least two promotions if not two one so you should have a plan for that if that is in line of your thought then i think that is accommodated do you see yourself at, in the, at the company in the next five years if this is us then you need to frame a different answer the length of time employees stay with the company the same company rather varies based on the age and industry on average 54 percent of people stay in the same role for at least five years so if let's say 54 percent the rest 45 percent of the people who are very clear with what they want from the job and how they have planned to maybe escalate further and take one or two promotions so there are only 54 percent but the rest 
46% are still the ones who are ambitious and they are the one who actually have an answer to this question and they always overcome answering it more and more effectively. Well, hiring, onboarding and training a new employee is often seen as an investment. So don't forget this from the company's perspective. It is a pure investment. So you are paid a stipend or salary and you are asked to learn the techniques, the nuances of the job and what a way while studying you are actually paying to study something where you are not able to grasp most of the practical aspect of the job and here you are given a job with your uh, theoretical understanding and then you are asked to further better your conceptual knowledge by putting it into a practice and that is paid so imagine it is an investment and turnover is really costly because if say 45% are retained the other 45% if they are not taken care within the five years they might take a lateral but a vertical jump outside any company so it's a costly affair so most employers seek candidates who plan on being at the company long term and not short term they typically want to hear that you see yourself in this role a relatively similar position at in the same company for maybe several years and now you understand why this question is asked to look into your consistency and maybe minimize that iteration rate that any industry is facing do you have a sense of ambition or drive it can be difficult to know or even plan for what you will be doing in next five years however managers still look to hire candidates who have a sense of how they want to grow and progress in their career. It's important to note that employees are particularly interested to know your goals within this particular role. While having grand ambitions can certainly be a positive character trait, it may not be appropriate to discuss all of them when answering this question if they aren't relevant for the job. So remember, put some relevance to the meaning of what you are answering to this particular question. Are you sincerely interested in this particular role? Finally, employers are often curious if your interest aligns with the position they are offering. For instance, this could be a great time to highlight your plans to become an expert in your field by taking online courses, maybe part-timers courses, diploma certification, anything. Obtaining a relevant certification would, would be of great, great advantage. Understanding your related passions and interests helps employers envision how you might contribute the team in both the short term and the long term and it assures them that the role will provide a fulfilling experience for you. So how to answer this particular question, where do you see yourself in the next five years? In short, answer the question, where do you see yourself in five, five years by discussing how you could evolve in this role. This might come naturally to you but sometimes responding to this question can be difficult. There may be times when you don't see yourself in a role long term and that's okay. Though it's not necessary to disclose that to your interviewer. In this case, imagine how the job might help someone grow in this career trajectory and try to apply it to your answer. Either way, it can be helpful to do some prep work before answering this question in an interview. When preparing your answer, consider the following best practices. First. Think about how your goals fit with the job description. When crafting your answer, remember to carefully review the job posting. Consider which of the required skills and traits you already have and would like to strengthen and also those you would like to gain more experience in. It can be helpful to look at the specifics of, that, of what the job entails and think about what it could mean to advance your knowledge and expertise in these areas over the next five years. Number two, envision the experiences related to this position that you'd like to have on your resume in five years. It can be a helpful practice to think about what an ideal resume might realistically look like for someone in this role five years from now. Think about the following categories and how they might look into the future. Are there incremental job titles you could grow into? For example, moving from a trainee engineer to an engineer level or engineer 1 to engineer 2 level. Are there certain skills, for example, the technical or the soft skills that you lack that people in this field, in this field typically 
हॉन और वुड लाइक टू टेक अप अ सोशल मीडिया मैनेजर में वॉन्ट टू गेन एक्सपीरियंस क्रिएटिंग वीडियोज और ग्राफिक्स यू नीड टू नो the graphics as well are there any relevant or well known industry awards or certificates you would like to pursue a sales representative may aim to win a top sales person of the year award are there specific achievements you could map out for instance becoming an expert and winning the opportunity to mentor junior team members you may not need to include all of these points in your answers during the interview however thinking about what your future resume might look like can help you shape your responses number 3 reflect on your interest and how they might evolve you in this particular role in any profession there is room to grow and continue learning there might be a particular area of interest you want to focus on in the role you are interviewing for and it might reasonably take several years for you to reach an expert level For example, a cosmetologist might be interested in nurturing client relationship and learning about the technology that other businesses use to do that. As a result, they might try to learn more about customer relationship management software and marketing communications. Thoughtfully reflecting on tasks and other relevant skills or subject matters that interest you can help from ideas for where you see yourself in the next 5 years. Let me have put some answers practical answers to where do you see yourself in next 5 years So while in most cases it's recommended to answer interview questions as specifically as possible this question is an exception it is acceptable and sometimes beneficial to keep your answers to this question more general outlining a few key areas that you feel are interesting achievable and relevant to the role can provide sufficient information for the employer while also communicating that you are flexible about the future because goals interest and dreams can change it is reasonable to present general ideas instead of specific details for example in 5 years i would love to be an industry expert that others can come to for ideas help and strategy I've had amazing mentors and managers in past positions so I'd like to be able to provide similar guidance potentially taking on a leadership role finally I'd like to have taken the lead on a project I'm passionate about I'm motivated by connecting my initiatives to a company's larger goals and I'm excited by the prospect of getting more experience in that in this example the candidate notes their desire first is increase their industry knowledge second is take on new responsibilities and third is lead projects they are passionate about in the next 5 years so fantastic way to put it one more example some of my future goals for the next few years include leading a design team in a formal or informal capacity i am also excited about the prospect of working with product and event teams on developing streamlined processes this is a natural fit with my project management background i would also like to further develop my skills in user experience to aid in creating more user focused designs all around in this example the candidate includes their goal practicing leadership second collaborating with other departments and third is developing skills that will strengthen their expertise mapping out your plans for the future and deciding how to communicate them in an interview can seem intimidating talking time to consider where you want to be in 5 years based on the job description your interest and your goals can help you craft an answer that communicates why you are the best person for this particular job i hope we have made a lot of ground covering to approach how best we can answer this particular question where do you see yourself in the next 5 years if we have dropped enough clue we wish you great luck thank you